Hello! Welcome to this video where we will learn how to compute a p-value associated with a t-test. Recall that a t-test is used to compare two means to each other. For example, in a psychology experiment, we might be interested in our patient's mood, and we want to know about their mood when they're on a placebo versus when they're on some kind of active antidepressant. Let's assume that we have 15 participants, and each participant will give us a mood rating when they're on the placebo, and also a mood rating when they're on the drug. We can take the means of these two conditions and compare them to each other using a t-test, which of course compares two means to each other. The main question is to what extent do we have a significant difference between the two groups? And to answer that question, we need a p-value or a probability value. That's the probability of getting a difference between these two conditions that is likely to have occurred by chance. And if that value is less than 0.05, we say that we have a statistically significant difference. So let's go ahead and remind ourselves of the information we need to enter in order to produce a p-value that will allow us to evaluate whether these means are different from each other. Again, the command is equals t-test, and we can open a left parenthesis. Once we do this, you can see that we get prompted for the first array, the second array, the number of tails, and the type of t-test that we want. Because we want to compare mood on placebo to mood on drug, we can highlight over this first list of numbers. We'll enter a comma, and that's how we tell Excel that we're beginning the new parameter inside of its t-test command. The second parameter is the array number two. That would be our list of numbers for the mood on drug condition. Then we'll put in another comma, and we can either use one tail or two. By convention, we default to two, and because we're using a repeated measures design, these scores are said to be paired, so we would take the option one when we're specifying the particular kind of t-test. We close all this off with a right parenthesis, and just remind ourselves that we have equals t-test, we have the first list of numbers called array one, we have the second list of numbers called array 2, and then we have a 2, 1. Each of those parameters is separated by a comma. When we hit enter, we get a value here that is a p-value, and this tells us about the probability of getting a difference between these conditions that is occurring just by chance. We would expect to get a difference between these two values by chance something like 11% of the time, and that's a greater frequency than is our statistical significance cutoff of 0.05, a standard that is used in many sciences. Thanks for listening.